To find the derivative of the equation 2x squared minus 2x squared y squared minus 3y squared equals 7 with respect to x, I'm going to have to use implicit differentiation. Additionally, the second term in this problem, negative 2x squared times y squared, is a product. Negative 2x squared times y squared will require the product rule to differentiate. Let's begin. The first term, 2x squared, has a derivative of 4x. The second term, I'm going to use the product rule to find the derivative of the second term. I'm going to think of the first factor in the product as negative 2x squared, and I'm going to think of the second factor as y squared. The product rule states to take the derivative of a product, you first use the first term unchanged, in this case negative 2x squared, times the derivative of the second term. And the second term y squared has a derivative of 2y, but I'm differentiating with respect to x. So after I apply that power rule to find the derivative of y squared, I have to include a factor of the derivative of y with respect to x, which I'll represent with a y prime. The second part of the product rule states that I should take the second factor, y squared, unchanged, times the derivative of the first factor. The first factor was negative 2x squared, and the derivative of negative 2x squared is negative 4x. These, the last two terms that I just found, are the derivative of negative 2x squared y squared, and, and I use the product rule to find those. The last term, negative 3y squared, has a derivative of negative 6y to the first power, but that, that's a variable is y, and I'm differentiating with respect to x, so I'll include a factor of y prime. On the other side of the equation is a 7. At this point, I'm differentiating both sides of the equation, and the derivative of 7 is 0. My next line of work is just going to be to clean up the second and third factor, or the second and third term on the left side of this equation. Negative 2x squared times 2y times y prime is better written as negative 4x squared y times y prime. And the third term, y squared times negative 4x, is better written as negative 4xy squared. Now at this point, I have four terms on the left. Two of those terms have a factor of y prime, and two of them do not. I'm going to leave the two terms that do have a factor of y prime on the left, and I'm going to move the two terms that do not have a factor of y prime to the right. So to move those two factors without a y prime to the right, I'll add 4xy squared to both sides of the equation, and I'll subtract 4x from both sides. And all of this is being done on my way to isolating y prime. The, the, this question was to find the derivative of y with respect to x. I'm representing that with a y prime in this problem, so my final answer should be y prime equals some expression. Once the y primes, the terms that involve a factor of y prime are on the same side of the equation, notice that on that side of the equation there's a common factor of y prime. So I'll factor that out to the front and be left with y prime times the quantity of negative 4x squared y minus 6y, and that's equal to 4xy squared minus 4x. And I'm ready to isolate y prime. I can divide both sides of this equation by the quantity of negative 4x squared y minus 6y, and that will result in y prime being isolated because the quantities will divide away to be 1, and I'll be able to at this point write my derivative in the form y prime equals 4xy squared minus 4x all over negative 4x squared y minus 6y. There's some simplification that can be done. The numerator has a common factor of 4x, which I'll factor out to the front and rewrite the numerator as 4x times the quantity of y squared minus 1. And the denominator has a common factor of negative 2y. I'll factor out a negative sign as well as 2y, which will leave me with 2x squared plus 3. My final answer will be stated after dividing 4 and negative 2 to get 2x times y squared minus 1, which optionally could be factored to y plus 1 times y minus 1, over y times the quantity of 2x squared plus 3.